But what a great poet once said, you better start swimming or you're going to sink like a stone. The media landscape is so fragmented now. It is very hard to make an impact, to make a reach with our audience. I'm going to give you a little graph to show you that this is not a new thing. This actually has been occurring since the last death rattle of the golden age of television with happy days in the 70s and very early 80s commanding about a 30% share of the audience. Then in the 1980s, the Bill Cosby show, I put Rudy up there instead of Bill, but um, <laughs> VCRs were invented, boom, knocks down. Cable TV starts to expand a little bit with TBS, WGN, the internet is born with Seinfeld, it drops down. Of course, Ryan Seacrest gets massacred by social media being big. And now, with the NFL, the top show in America, we have all of that, plus we have Hulu, we have Netflix, we have HBO Go. It is a very fragmented society. But you're probably asking yourself, we are school districts. We do not spend money on television ads. Same thing's happening to the newspaper industry. Our smartphones are making us pick and choose what story we want to read. We don't read the newspaper cover to cover. That's a dying, dying industry. Maybe the New York Times is doing a very good job putting their stuff out digitally, but people are picking and choosing what articles they're not reading through. They're not going to see your ad. And I've heard quite a bit, you know, you hear this from board members. Well, our voters are still reading the newspaper. Well, I can tell you what, my dad is one of those over 65 voters. He has taken my grandfather, I gave him my old iPhone. He's purchased an iPad, and all he does is listen to, watch his news, and read articles on his digital device, and he picks and chooses. My dad had the newspaper Sunday through Sunday, read cover to cover, not anymore. And, of course, they like to place our ads back towards the back where no one reads anyway. So it's becoming a divided industry in there. I I got this at my front doorstep at the hotel for free. I picked it up because I saw some cool articles about Amazon and back to school, how it's exploding already. And I haven't even touched them yet. I was going to read them, but I haven't. Then, of course, you have billboards. I don't know about you. But no one really drives their car anymore looking up. They look down. I mean, this is Dallas right here. This, you just got to take your, your own life. You know, I, they, you know, they talk with their phone out like this, thinking they're talking to Kim Kardashian, because that's what they do on the reality shows. And they're sitting there. They're not watching the road. And they're definitely not looking up at the billboards. And then you have radio. I'm listening to Spotify, I'm listening to podcasts, like social media, schoolhouse podcasts, plug, plug. But I, if I'm watching or listening to FM radio, a sports channel, right when the commercials come on, I switch to the other sports channel in Dallas to see what I'm missing. I do not listen to the ads. And I didn't include this as a slide, but what about those Tuesday folders when your kid brings home a letter from the teacher or the school district? This is what mine looks like for my nine-year-old. You don't know what's going on. So we are in a fragmented society. And if you look at the ROI on these investments of these traditional media outlets, it's outrageous what you have to pay to reach the people you need to reach. Newspaper, $32 to reach 1,000 people. And that's like just throwing something against the wall, hoping those 1,000 people are the people you want to reach. Magazines, radio, cable TV. But then you start getting into the sweet spot a little bit. Google AdWords, LinkedIn, Facebook ads. 
you still can get a lot of bang for your buck doing those. And this is just a little side note. If you're not on Facebook and Instagram advertising and spending some of your budget, I would recommend 70% of your budget if it was me. That's just being honest. Doing these types of ads, you probably need to look into that as soon as possible because it's probably about a year, 18 months, maybe in the educational industry, 24 months. Once all these big organizations start buying up all the auction and driving up the price, this is still the greatest investment we have right now is social media. So think about that as you go back. It's killer. I would invest a lot of money. But the problem is, is what I'm alluding to, it's unhappy days for traditional advertising and marketing. We are not in the glory days where we can put out a newspaper ad or send home a printed newsletter. That's not working anymore. 